at the door for one Chris Hero. And uh, somebody better start up the Chris Hero that Danny Daniels is waiting for him. Doing a squat thrust, getting ready for him. He knows where the cue is. Danny Daniels has a 50 second countdown when Chris Hero's music finally hits. And it uh, looks like he's checking his watch a little. And out comes. Oh. Robinson, but he's still waiting on Chris Hero. And uh, Dave Patrick has finally stepped in as Danny Daniels is waiting for him. Danny Daniels is waiting for Chris Hero, but he doesn't see the new bleachers behind him. Chris Hero is waiting for the steel chair in hand. Bounces the chair and a foul to Danny Daniels right off the bat. Texas Deathmatch rules. Heavyweight Championship on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, this match. Here we go. This place, Zach. He looks all fired up. Not only at Danny Daniels, but after what just took place with Nick Gage. Daniels firing back, and they're exchanging forearms on the floor. It was just last night that Danny Daniels piled drove Chris Hero on the heavyweight title belt. How upset he was, how he cheated on his heavyweight belt, and it's finally his time to shine here. Death matches a big venue, a big opportunity for him. He's claimed for months that he is the uncrowned IWA heavyweight champion of the world, and uh, after Mark Wolf relinquished the title due to injuries, it was Hero and Daniels, two out of three falls. They split the first two falls and the final deciding fall. Danny Daniels did defeat Chris Hero, but referee Brian Gorey caught Daniels with a weapon in the ring, a chain. Restart of the match, something you don't see too often in the IWM itself. And Chris Hero able to get the Hero's welcome and get the victory in that matchup. That is the heavyweight champion. Daniels feels he was screwed and uh, hit the ring on Hero last night after being suspended after attacking Mark Wolf. At the end of that match, uh, oh, so he has been allowed back here in the IWA Big South at Chris Hero's request. Chris Hero telling Ian Rotten last night he already lost CM Punk on the IWA roster. If he doesn't allow Danny Daniels to get in the ring with him tonight here at the King of the Death Matches night two, he just lost Chris Hero. So Ian Rotten allowed Danny Daniels back into the ring, back onto the IWA roster for tonight. Heavyweight title shot. You know, it makes for better wrestling. And Danny Daniels is one of the best out there, you know. I hate to say it. He is a very, very gifted athlete and has been proving his ability inside the squared circle for well over a year now here in the IW in itself. As Chris Hero and all the Danny Daniels by the legs. Hangman's clutch locked in in the center of the ring. It's Texas Death Rules. He can tap right now. And he has 10 seconds to make his way back to his feet. Danny Daniels is a genius. He put on his finishing hold. Daniels tapped up. He knew he's got 10 seconds to rest. If he taps out right away, he's got an easy 10 seconds. He's going to collaborate himself. He's going to get together, get everything going, and now he's ready to go. Look okay. at Taking a breath on your hey, Laura, he's ready to go. Yeah. Smart thinking, I think. It is very smart, yeah. Submission hold. If you tap out right away in a Texas death match, your opponent has to uh, release the hold for the 10 count to begin. So he knows that if Hero does cinch in the hangman's clutch or any other submission hold, you just got to tap out. He's got 10 seconds to regroup. You know, motherfucker! I have the Good measure. Big forearm from Hero. 
Boot to the midsection of Hero and a forearm from Danny Daniels as well. Daniels being very aggressive as he needs to be. Possibly his last opportunity at the IWA Heavyweight Championship. Chris Hero defeats him right here. Whether or not uh, Ian Rudd will welcome him on the roster from here on out remains to be seen. Did you notice what Hero did there? He knew that Danny Daniels was an asthmatic. He went right for the throat, trying to trap it off. Body slam from Hero off the rug. Double stop right down onto the rib cage of Danny Daniels. He had to try and get the actual win. In fact, Danny Daniels breathing in that match. Lateral press. But only two, says referee Brian Gorey. Brian Gorey, someone that Danny Daniels has issues with as well. Cost him the title. Last time these two squared off, flying head scissors. Comes charging, and a big running forearm in the corner from Daniels. Hero staggering out of the corner. It's met with another forearm. Daniels asking Hero to bring it on. Big fan of the motherfucker is that guy. He's obviously added that to his repertoire since I've been here last. <laughs> there you go. Another solid forearm knocks Hero back down. Danny Daniels is mad at the world. Gotta be happy, you know? He pissed off so overrated. Crowd get him behind Chris Hero. Shot to the midsection. And another. Forearm from Hero. And again, pulling down that elbow pad. Throws Hero over top, back to his feet. Met with another forearm, and down he goes. Lateral press. A three count. Danny Daniels scores a pinball, and referee Brian Gorey begins the 10 count. Did you notice the cover he did with that? Kind of like an alligator clutch there. Cinched it in, made sure he couldn't kick out. But again, Hero's got time. A lot of forearms being thrown this man. Daniels having words with the referee, but Hero's back on his feet and throwing him right in the face once again. Roaring elbow that time. his head off with a lariat. One, two. Daniels kicks out. A lot more effective than that lariat. You see Chris Hero spend some time in the gym trying to get his body in shape. Put some nice definition on those arms. And that's going to add a lot to your repertoire, especially when you're throwing those forearms. Again, going back to the win of Danny Daniels. Shot right to the side of the head. Lifts Daniels up, seated on the top row. And Daniels is hung out to dry on the ropes in the corner. Here to the second row. Three quarter chance, you're maybe looking for a come out suplex off the second row. Danny trying to block it. Hero tries to get it, but Daniels lands on his feet. Trying to take the legs out for Chris Hero. Shot across the chest by Daniels. To the second rope he goes once again. DDT off the second rope. And a courtesy clap from some time. Hero is down, Danny Daniels has to follow up on this, go for a cover. Drives the knee right into the head of Chris Hero. Let's talk about the Texas death match, Dave Prezak. Ten count, you gotta get up. What, what do you think uh, they're gonna need to do to make, you know, to make a ten count? What, what well, do you establish here? Not only does a pinfall need to take place, but you gotta have the guy worn down enough where his energy is severely drained. And utilizing a lot of submission holds like Chris Hero does uh, 
if Danny Daniels' strategy is to tap out as soon as he's in a submission hold so that he doesn't get worn down, that is going to backfire against Hero. But we've got a submission hold right now. Just a wear down hold. He's not really, not really looking for a, for a tap out, but it is wearing down Chris Hero. Very smart on Danny Daniels' part. Maybe he can go for moves like that later on. Focusing on the back of Hero right now. Inside Cradle, but only a two count. Why would he break an inside cradle? Only give a three count, maybe see if Chris Hero's worn down enough that he can't make it back to his feet. I don't know. That would be against your small packages, your uh, backslides. I think those would really need to be taken out of the game plan at this moment. High impact maneuvers yes. and wear down holds. Back senton across the back of Chris Hero. Seems like Danny's got a plan. Roll Zero over, only a one count. If he does have a plan, have a plan, he needs to stick to it. So that's ain't gonna help you, Danny. Shot to good. the gut. It has that knee driven right into the air, the side of the head. Chris Hero. I applaud you, Danny. Also still big with the come on babies. <laughs> yes indeed. I don't think that'll ever end. Solid four from Daniels again. Shot to the back of the head and the neck of Chris Hero. Fans getting behind Hero and it's, and it's irritating Danny Daniels. Woo. Hero fires back. Toe -to -toe. Hero comes charging, elevated up and over, landing on the apron, shoulder block to the midsection of Daniels. Hero hooking him now, maybe for a suplex to the floor. Daniels holds on, drops the throat of Chris Hero over the top rope, still standing up on the apron. Tries Hero into the ring post that time and knocks out to the concrete. Daniels climbing the turnbuckles though. To the top rope he goes. Front flip time on to Chris Hero over the ring post. I can love I guess you gotta risk your body to, if that's what you gotta do. Danny uh, Davis putting his body on the line there. Trying to earn the heavyweight championship of the IWA Mid-South. Can't be a pussy to be the IWA champion, that's a fact. Daniels pulling Hero back up, but a shot from Hero. He's staying in this match. He's really got to be hurt after taking that dive. Danny Daniels, although short in stature, is not a little guy. Daniels to the top rope. Hero makes his way back to his feet. I don't know if he knows where Daniels is at just yet. Flying head scissors off the top rope. One, two. Hero kicks out. The Freakathon show in the month of April saw the heavyweight title suspended on a pole in one of the corners of the ring. Danny Daniels was the first one to retrieve the belt off the pole. But the referee, after being knocked out, first person, she, and Mickey at the time, saw what the bell was Chris Hero and declared him the winner. Daniels felt he was cheated in that matchup. They went two out of three falls to a 45 minute time limit draw in the final fall. Danny Daniels said Chris Hero never defeated him in that matchup as it was a draw. And then of course the second two out of three falls matchup from Free Brian Boyd restarting the matchup after Danny Daniels won with the aid of a weapon. Something that's typically allowed here in the IWA Mid-South. Chris Hero wins the match after it's restarted. Danny Daniels has a lot to complain about in terms of IWA officiating and being screwed out of the title. But officially, as of right now, Chris Hero is the heavyweight champion and he needs to win this Texas death match to rightfully claim that he is heavyweight champion of this company. You take a breath there, Craig uh, I try to. Wow. Another wear down over here. 
Cole Nelson and Chris Hero with two elbows to the side of the head of Daniels. But but gives him that big ass. Going for the drop kick, but Daniels holds on to the ankle. Bumps over. Chris Hero bridges up. Tremendous agility and strength. You're against the backslide, Colt Cabana, but he's trying to get one right there. Only two. Just in, in, in the heat passion, you're going to do that. Passion? Daniels takes the buckle. Hero comes charging into an elbow. Daniels climbing up to the second row. Shot to the back. As Hero has Daniels up on his shoulder, maybe looking for the dislocator. Hero's got Daniels up, dislocator! But Chris Hero severely worn down as a result of Daniels' onslaught for the past several minutes of the matchup. Cannot follow up with a cover. Needs to capitalize. Hero pulling Daniels back up to his feet. Hooking him for a vertical suplex. And Daniels over top. Sits down with it. Two. Almost three. Great counter by Danny Daniels there. Back into a submission. Trying to wear down Hero. Got the clutch. Got the left, left arm hooks. If he can cut off circulation. Put Hero to sleep. And that could do it. Ten seconds, man. Ten seconds, man. That's all he's got to keep him down after a tap out or pinfall in this Texas death match. I think this is the smartest way, and Danny has let go of it. Put him to sleep, choke him out. That way he doesn't have ten seconds to, to stay alive. Danny is out to the apron. Look at he wants to be flashy she moves. He wants to be a superstar, but she is. I don't know. He doesn't need to do this. Hero takes the legs out from Danny Daniels, crotches himself on the top turnbuckle. Thought he's gonna go for the Gravat suplex. Daniels trying to fight off this superplex attempt by Hero. Headbutt from Daniels. Knocks Hero off the ropes. Second turnbuckle is Daniels. And Hero trying to fight out of this. He does. And Daniels is out on the top rope. It's one big struggle here in this top turn Hero all the way up top, maybe looking for that reverse power bomb. Reverse power bomb off the top rope. Chris Hero busts that out every now and again, too many times against CM Punk. And has against Danny Daniels here at the King of the Death Match. But again, Hero worn down. Referee Brian Gory apply a count on both men. He counts to 10, that's the ball, and they have 10 seconds to get back to their feet. 20 seconds left. Fans encouraging these wrestlers, mainly Chris Hero, to get back to his feet. To a count of eight. He's up to nine, but Danny Daniels is up. And so is Hero. He strikes first. Lariat takes down Daniels. Big drop kick from Hero. Sends Daniels all the way up to the floor to pimp up by Hero. Hero's a house of fire. He's got the back and the people are behind him. Getting that burst of energy, getting a second win. The heavyweight champion hits the ropes. Hero comes for time. On to Danny Daniels in the front row. Hero 
Guerrero pitches Daniels back inside the ring. <laughs> needs to follow up, needs to go for a cover, get a pinfall. Don't worry about the people here. Yeah, don't worry about the people. He's spending too much time asking the fans what he should do. Looks like he's gonna go for that Rubik's Cube. He asked the fans, Cube, Daniel's blocking it. Throws Hero into the corner. Pulls him back out. Coming for him across the upper back. Waist lock, German suplex with a release by Daniels. Hero back on his feet, but pretty much out on his feet. Staggers back into another waist lock, another German. Hero again to a standing position. Who do we see a third? No. Holds on to the wrist of Daniels. Traps the leg. And drags him right to the mat. Only an impact. Referee Brian Gorey checking on the condition of both wrestlers. Twenty minutes have elapsed in this Texas death match for the heavyweight championship. Look how down they both are, Dave. This is the time when one of these guys has to step up their game and realize that the other is hurting that much. Yeah, both men worn down. One high impact maneuver and a three count could lead to a 10 count and a victory in this matchup. Gory's been down. They've been down a couple times. It's almost hit 10, so. Exchanging forearms and both men still on their feet, though. Hero hooks him maybe for the hero's welcome. Hero's welcome. Goes for the cover two and three. Chris Hero scores a pinball. Danny Daniels now has ten seconds to make his way back to his feet. Come on, Danny, get up. Come on, Danny. He looks not that cold, baby. Right three is the count of Brian Gorey. Four. He says, fuck this 10 count. Could be a mistake on Hero's part, but he wants to wear him down even more. And flick for a punishment before looking for the 10 count. Looking for the Rubik's Cube. As Daniels on his shoulder, Rubik's Cube! Rubik's Cube, two and three. Now Daniels has 10 seconds to get back to his feet. I can't feel too good, Dave, right now. Definitely not. That could be the maneuver to put away Danny Daniels to retain the heavyweight championship for Chris Hero. Oh, I've been on the half of many devastating moves, and I don't think I can get up after 10 seconds after that. I, I need at least 11, 12. Two days. Two days. <laughs> I mean, I hope Hero don't pick him up. Count of seven. Eight. This guy is the stupidest He's guy. He's picking him back up. Here comes Jim Bannon up on the apron. What's Jim Bannon doing on the apron? Jim Bannon has nothing to do with this matchup. Taking his eyes off of Danny Daniels. Daniels with a low blow on Hero. Jim Bannon taking Hero's attention away from him. Danny Daniels hits the hero's welcome on Chris Hero. Goes to the cover, two and three. Well, hits the hero's welcome. Hero's own finishing maneuver on Chris Hero. Gets a three count. Referee Brian Gorey up to a count of three. This man was pretty positive that Danny Daniels, the new IWA Mixed Out Heavy Champion. Man at ringside holding on to the title belt. Hero back to his feet. Boots to the gut by Danny Daniels. Looking for the cradle pile driver. But no. Hero turns that around trying to get Daniels for a pile driver. Boots to the gut. Daniels looking for a pile driver. Pile driver connects. Jumping pile driver of Danny Daniels. Covers him. Two and three. 
Texas Deathmatch. 